Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge thanks to you for being a part of this meaningful event for Nano Malaysia Berhad on a lovely Sunday morning. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Shafiq Chulan, your host for today, and we are here to celebrate Nano Malaysia's 10th anniversary. I can proudly say that Nano Malaysia has reached a huge milestone and we would like to celebrate with you. First and foremost as well, I would like to welcome on board our VIPs. Assalamualaikum and good morning to Professor Emeritus Dato in Senior Dr. Muhammad Zawawi bin Ismail, Chairman of Nano Malaysia Berhad, Dr. Rizal Khairi Ahmad, Chief Executive Officer of Nano Malaysia Berhad, and from the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation Mosti, we have on board our VIP, which is Yang Muhammad Dato Haji Ahmad Amzad bin Hashim, Deputy Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation Mosti. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome everyone to Nano Malaysia's 10th anniversary. And we are live today at all Nano Malaysia social media platforms, which are Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Together with our social media partners here today, Ministry of Science, Technology, and Innovation, Mosti, we have Nano Verify, Sinir Bahad, Nano Verify, the IBR Asia Group, and National Nanotechnology Center, NNC. Today, we will hear speeches from our VIPs and officiate the event, followed by a launch of a special book as well as a special prize for our social media winners at the end of the show here today. So make sure to stay tuned till the end. Ladies and gentlemen, Nano Malaysia Bahad was incorporated in 2011 as a company limited by guarantee CLBG under the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation Mosti. To act as a business entity entrusted with nanotechnology commercialization activities. Since then, Nano Malaysia Bahad has changed the nanotechnology landscape across Malaysia in numerous sectors and industry. So, what better way to start the day by inviting our first speaker of the day who knows the ins and outs of the company and he was appointed by the two founding directors of NMB Professor Datin Paduka Katija Yusuf, the former Deputy Secretary General of MOSTI as well as Professor Dato Dr. Halimatun bin Tihamdan. He has been with the establishment for your information since day one and I am proud to welcome on board on the stage Professor Emeritus Dato Insignia Dr. Mama Zawa Weebing Smile, Chairman of Nano Malaysia Bahad, to deliver the opening speech. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tuan Tuan dan Puan Puan. Alhamdulillah, syukur kehadir Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala yang memungkinkan kita berkumpul di alam maya menyambut ulang tahun ke-10 Nano Malaysia Berhad. 10 tahun bukan usia yang lama bagi sesebuah organisasi. Namun, bagi Nano Malaysia, tempo ini penuh bermakna dalam penubuhannya. Bermula dari sifar dengan bekalan dana penubuhan sejumlah RM7 juta ringgit, tetapi tanpa kepastian sumber dana pengurusan dan pembangunan bagi tahun-tahun turutan masa depan kelihatan penuh mencabar apakah mampu Nano Malaysia mengukir langkah menjadikan nanoteknologi sumber penjanaan kekayaan negara di masa mendatang jalanan yang dilalui dalam desa warsa pertama tidak kurang liku-likunya teknologi baru harus diperkenal seluasnya daripada pemerintah kepada anak sekolah, daripada industri kepada pengguna bahawa bahan nano mempunyai ciri istimewa yang boleh mengubah corak industri dan ekonomi. Bagaimanakah industri dapat didorong untuk berinovasi menghasilkan produk menggunakan bahan nanoteknologi? 
dengan meyakinkan kerajaan tentang potensi nanoteknologi, maka terkumpul dana yang membolehkan kerjasama antara Nano Malaysia dengan industri dan universiti menjalankan pelbagai projek menggunakan bahan dan teknologi nano. Alhamdulillah, kita tidak sesiakan perayaan tahun ke-10 ini kerana kita berjaya merempuh pelbagai halangan menjadikan Nano Malaysia sebagai suatu model pengkomersialan teknologi. Antara kejayaan adalah seperti yang saya akan laporkan seterusnya dengan izin dalam bahasa Inggeris. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining us on this special occasion as we celebrate Nano Malaysia Berhad's 10th anniversary. It is indeed a momentous occasion as it solidifies all the years of hard work and dedication Nano Malaysia has poured into its integral role in commercialization, facilitation of investments and human capital development in nanotechnology in our country. Looking back at our short history, Nano Malaysia began with a small government grant of 7 million ringgit with no sign of other annual support. But it has an extensive plan to fulfill its intended mission. It survived the few initial years by aggressively pushing itself towards to get noticed and buy in from stakeholders through seminars and awareness among public and private circles. At the same time, efforts were made to participate in crucial meetings and discussion circles for long-term strategic visibility and positioning in seeking Malaysia plan inclusion. It was only three years later, in 2013, when we reached our first milestone with a partnership program with IBM through the support of the Ministry of Higher Education that saw 25 local acad academics researching in Almaden Research Centre, San Jose. The program highlighted the need for intense participation by local researchers in nanotechnology that can impact national development. The real breakthrough came in 2014, when our interest in graphene caught the imagination of government agencies to begin a collaborative effort that brought about the National Graphene Action Plan, launched in 2020 with a game-changing delivery framework to pull in industry participation and push graphene innovations out to the market. And to date, we have 63 programs at various stages of progress. We have crossed many milestones since. There are many potential game-changing projects, for instance, our partnership with Eclimos and Jan Berhard in developing an electric scooter with nanosensors, enabling remote monitoring and battery health checks that will undoubtedly create a new market. Or take a look at Nanotextiles in Yambrahad, our investing company, partnered with Pony Garments in Yambrahad, that has since created a collection of garments with nanotech coating, antibacterial properties, thus creating a new market of products. And lately, we are tasked as the implementing agency for certain aspects of the national fourth industrial revolution policy. For example, Nano Malaysia will be launching the hydrogen eco nanomai programs that will utilize our on-site generated hydrogen technology to create a national hydrogen industrial ecosystem for the energy sector. Ladies and gentlemen, despite a very challenging period, by the end of last year, Nano Malaysia developed 55 intellectual properties, 25 patents, 17 copyrights, 5 trademarks, 4 trade secrets, and 4 utility innovations. And despite the current COVID-19 crisis, our team has persevered to reveal our resilience and strength to add 
we are together with the Ministry of International Trade and Industry to help manage four COVID-19 projects, namely nanotech enhanced PPEs and antiviral systems. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our achievements could not have been made possible without our staff's sheer dedication and teamwork. I wish to congratulate our management team, especially our CEO, Dr. Rezal, and his COO, Hafiz, who has done an excellent job building the company. Dr. Rezal, right from day one, tirelessly leads the organization to achieve the set mission and objectives. We have recorded our achievements and milestones and the story of the development of Nanomalaysia and its role in driving the commercialization of technology in a table book entitled Greatness from Small Beginnings. We thank our partners, the IBR Asia Group, for their work in helping produce this publication. I wish to take the opportunity to extend our sincere appreciation to the Honourable Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Hairi Jamaluddin, and the past ministers too. They have given their trust in the decade of development of the company. Thank you to the Secretary General of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Siti Hamisa Tapsir, and the past Secretaries General for the constant support towards our effort to make Malaysia a fourth industrial revolution nation. I must also thank the Board of Directors for their invaluable inputs and guidance that make our deliberations forever lively. Throughout the 10 years, it is the robust and agile synergy between the Board and management that creates a conducive environment that drives Nano Malaysia's success story. I'm indeed honoured for the opportunity given to be the founding chairman of Nano Malaysia for the last 10 years in what has been an exciting journey. Thank you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Of course, thank you to Professor Emeritus Dato and Senior Dr. Muhammad Zawawi bin Ismail, Chairman of Nano Malaysia Bahad for the enlightening speech. Nano Malaysia has certainly come a long, long way these past 10 years. And of course, to all of our viewers, do not forget to share, like, follow Nano Malaysia on their social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, as well as LinkedIn. Don't forget, make sure to do it right here, right now. Moving on to our next agenda, we at Nano Malaysia are proud to have our guest of honour from the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Mosti, together celebrating this important day for Nano Malaysia. I would like to invite Yang Bohamad Dato Haji Ahmad Amzad bin Hashim, Deputy Minister, Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Mosti, to deliver the officiating speech. Professor Emeritus Datuk IR Dr. Muhammad Zawawi bin Ismail, Chairman of Nano Malaysia Berhad. Dr. Rizal Khairi Ahmad, Chief Executive Officer of Nano Malaysia Berhad. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera and a very good morning to all. It gives me great pleasure to be congratulating Nano Malaysia Berhad on their 10th year anniversary. In 2011, Nano Malaysia Berhad was incorporated as a company limited by guarantee CLBG under the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MOSTI, to act as a business entity entrusted with nanotechnology commercialization activities through a venture builder model. Since then, it has played an integral role and work in tandem with MOSTI to elevate industries and create an environment of increased visibility for high-tech startups and SMEs. This has driven Malaysia closer towards the aspiration of the national policy on science 
technology and innovation destined 2021-2030 in becoming a high-tech nation by 2030. The pandemic has changed the lives of many and realigned the Malaysian economy to the emergence of new business models as more and more companies move online. The digital revolution is upon us and has resulted in changed production patterns and consumer inclinations. More importantly, it has highlighted the pressing need for Malaysia to embrace the digital economy and fourth industrial revolution to remain globally competitive. Industries will have to re-evaluate strategies and factor in ways technology can help businesses evolve. Anticipating and acknowledging this need, the government recently launched the National 4IR policy. It will utilize 4IR technologies for a strategic socio-economic transformation. Challenges will be addressed and opportunities will be identified in the digital revolution to optimize the country's economic, societal and environmental development. Furthermore, it is expected to generate more job opportunities as the 4IR is forecasted to boost all sectors productivity by 30% by 2030. This will contribute to our country's increase in skilled workers as well as production of higher value-added products. Nanotechnology was duly acknowledged by the World Economic Forum, WEF, much as one of the primary drivers of 4IR. In fact, Internet of NanoThings, including nano sensors, were ranked number one by WEF in 2016 to jumpstart 4IR. Pursuant to that, Nano Malaysia will act as an implementing agency for certain aspects of the national 4IR policy. As the leading agency on nanotechnology commercialization in Malaysia, it will facilitate and commercialize the local development of emerging technologies in the 4IR, such as advanced materials and technologies, internet of nanothings, blockchain, and artificial intelligence. To this end, Nano Malaysia has in place the Revolution Program, which mirrors the national 4IR policy that will be crucial in the production of complex and valuable intellectual properties, products, and system solutions, especially in the application of sensors, communication devices, flexible electronics, internet of nanothings, smart cities, autonomous systems for transportation, electric vehicles, green energy, and robotics. The program has also enabled partnership with local universities, startups, SMEs, and end users to drive forward the advancement of technology in our race towards becoming a high-income nation. The National 4IR policy, which is built on people-private-public partnerships, demonstrates our government's commitment toward embracing the digital revolution. Mosti will provide all the necessary support to high-tech companies through Nano Malaysia, from the product development phase right up to commercialization stage. We applaud the demonstrated Nano Malaysia success stories for the past decade in creating the building blocks of 4IR, such as connected nano devices, and we are even more excited to witness a new chapter of with a fresh catalogue of innovations that will be developed and commercialized under the 12th Malaysia plan from the current dynamic team Nano Malaysia led by Dato Zawawi and Dr. Rizal under Mosti's guidance to further re-energize Malaysia's industries in the direction of becoming a fourth industrial revolution nation and beyond. Once again, congratulations and happy 10th year anniversary to Nano Malaysia Berhad. Thank you, Yang Muhammad Datuk Haji Ahmad Amzad bin Hashim, Deputy Minister, Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Mosti. 
Once again, we are honored to have your presence with us celebrating this important day despite your busy schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 years ago, a nanotech revolution started in Malaysia when Anomalaysia Bahad was formed. And since then, they have been working on high-tech innovation that you wouldn't have guessed could originate from Malaysia. But now, we have come to the most anticipated part of the event itself, to officiate the launch of Nano Malaysia's 10th year anniversary. To all the viewers watching, I hope that you are ready because I am ready. VIPs, please get ready because I would like to invite you on board. And once again, VIPs ready. At the count of 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When everyone else is thinking big, this company is thinking small. This is the key to the future. We've made a self-driving car, hydrogen-powered drone, a true wireless charge, nano-light energy pack, hydrogen-paired race car, graphene-infused ESD glove, aquaponics, graphene-enhanced engine oil. And we're just getting started. Malaysia that we bring onto our name, Nano Malaysia, now stands for Malaysian products for the world. The nanotech revolution is happening now. Wow, wow, wow. That was absolutely spectacular. A video showcasing the achievements and journey of Nano Malaysia in 10 years. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Nano Malaysia's 10th year anniversary is now officially launched. A huge congratulations to Nano Malaysia for achieving this amazing feat. Next. To commemorate Nano Malaysia's 10th year anniversary, Nano Malaysia Bahad is proud to launch the Nano Malaysia 10th year journey book that highlights Nano Malaysia in achieving its impressive results that benefits the economy and the nation. The book will explore exponentially on how the nanotechnology landscape has changed since the founding of Nano Malaysia and how nanotechnology itself has brought changes to across Malaysian sectors and industry. The book also includes the key players who were part of the company's development since day one. The book is called Greatness from Small Beginnings. Ladies and gentlemen, let us have a look, shall we? Get ready for the Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to take note that you'll be able to get your hands on the book called The Greatness from Small Beginnings via online. It will be released at major bookstores as well. So make sure to get yourself updated on Nano Malaysia's social media platforms and be the first, yes I said it, be the first in Malaysia to be able to obtain it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we tell you and share with you a simple story. The journey to success requires a lot of sacrifice. Sweat, tears, money and time. To build a successful foundation requires the cooperation 
and teamwork as well. Nano Malaysia has never been an individual ordeal, but a combination of amazing, dedicated, hard-working individuals. They strive at giving their best for the company for 10 years. And 10 years, ladies and gentlemen, 10 years of continuous efforts and the memories that forever will be remembered by the people of this company. Once again, Nano Malaysia has never forgotten about you. And I'm talking about to the people who have worked really hard behind the scenes. Nano Malaysia wants to thank you for being a part of this company. Because without you, the workforce of the company Nano Malaysia would not even exist to what it has become today. And because of that, we have a special video. A video of all of our amazing staff that has given their all, that has made this happen since the establishment of Nano Malaysia up until now. There are only a total of four staff that are still working with Nano Malaysia. I'm talking about 10 years working with Nano Malaysia. And ladies and gentlemen, especially to those who are watching, that are working for Nano Malaysia, this is your journey. This is Nano Malaysia. For eight years since 2013. It has been eight years since I joined Nano Malaysia. I joined Nano Malaysia in 2013. This year marked my eight years working with Nano Malaysia. When I got the chance to participate in sport activities such as futsal and bola padang organized by Nano Malaysia Sports Club. When I got married in 2017, I got accompanied by my office mates during my special day. They all flew down to Sabah to witness my big day. Uh, thank you guys, uh, you know who you are. One of the greatest things is the, the diversity and the exchange of uh, knowledge, especially nanotechnology knowledge, which is not, I'm not familiar of. My special moment was when I have been promoted as an office manager. I feel thankful to have a top management who recognized my abilities, effort and hard work. and my superiors for giving me the opportunity. I've been able to broaden my sets of skills in my career. To be part of Nano Malaysia, to promote nanotechnology in Malaysia. It has a good working environment, many benefits and very supportive and supporting colleagues. Because Nano Malaysia always encouraged me to do everything beyond my expectation and always support my career development. I also have the opportunity to work with colleagues who are knowledgeable, fun and responsible. They are always willing to provide their helps without any returns. I believe in this company, I believe what it brings to the country and I believe in its contribution to our country. I love the working environment, love working with great people, talented, supportive leaders and colleagues. That is why I feel honoured to be part of this organisation.
Thank you, Nano Malaysia. And thank you, Nano Malaysia, for everything. Thank you, Nano Malaysia. Thank you, Nano Malaysia, and happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. What an amazing moment. That's all I can say. Seeing all the smiling faces, the efforts, the amazing achievements that all of the staff and the workforce of Nano Malaysia. Once again, we would like to thank you, the staff that made Nano Malaysia to what it is today. Thank you for being a part of this exciting journey for the past 10 years. I got some words to say for you. You are the best but of course hearing from me might not be as impactful but i know someone will be able to in his speech here today ladies and gentlemen during the early years of nano malaysia berhad after appointing chairman nmb had one job to do which is to get on quickly and get a ceo Given this mandate task, the important thing was to find the right person to run its operations. Someone with experience or potential is treading both the government and private sectors. Someone who has a background in nanotechnology and of course they chose this one person. They appointed none other than Dr. Rizal Khairi Ahmad as Chief Executive Officer of Nano Malaysia Bahad. With that, let us hear his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Alhamdulillah, syukur kepada Allah. Terima kasih, Datuk Dr. Insinyur Zawi, pengerusi lembaga pengarah Nano Malaysia. Saya juga mengambil kesempatan untuk meminta izin untuk berbicara dalam bahasa Inggeris. Dear friends of Nano Malaysia, allow me to share our journey which started with a humble beginning and arriving to a level of achievements allowing us to stand tall amongst the giants despite our relatively small nano-sized existence after 10 years. Behind the facts and figures supporting our claim to success story in mainstream and social media, as well as our continued aspiration, Nano Malaysia is essentially a story of entrepreneurship, a narrative that captures our initial startup and current growth phases. Nano Malaysia was conceived after securing approval from the National Innovation Council on the 14th of February 2011, which led to the eventual incorporation under the Companies Act as a company limited by guarantee on the 1st of August 2011. The company started with two founding directors, Professor Dato Halim Hamdan and Professor Datin Paduka Khadija Yusof. Dato Dr. Insinyur Zawi was identified as the best person to lead Nano Malaysia Board of Directors with a balance of academic and industry experience. In 2012, the trust was given to me to build Nano Malaysia from scratch by Dato Chairman, Board Members and the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MOSTI, specifically the then Secretary General Tan Sri Dr. Madina. For that, I am forever grateful. My appreciation goes out to also to Tan Sri Azman Mokhtar, Kazana MD at that time for supporting my placement at Nano Malaysia through a secondment from Kazana in the first two years, which was useful for an early stage company like Nano Malaysia. As mentioned by Dr. Chairman, Nano Malaysia began with a small government grant of 7 million ringgit with a national mandate to build a nanotechnology ecosystem with no sign of further annual support then. Challenged by Datu Chairman, I had to think outside the box to build a solid reputation as a primary reference point for nanotechnology commercialization and industrial development. Just like any other startup, a unique value proposition needed to be established, differentiating Nano Malaysia from other agencies and other companies. A business model and plan to ensure financial sustainability and a disruptive commercialization model and a program tailored for nanotechnology towards alignment to Malaysia's economic growth aspirations. But firstly, a team needs to be built. Nano Malaysia is not only as good as its team. From a team of one person to a thriving 55 as of today, 
but to make the best of what we had at the beginning and managing our costs down. Nano Malaysia's business model was designed on the concept of extensive collaborations. Instead of centralizing our resources, we adopted the gig economy model way before it became mainstream. Pre-existing nanotechnology related facilities and experts made available by universities and research institute became our virtual assets through various partnerships. Armed with an ecosystem and innovation platform was created linking industry and the research community. Additionally, Nano Malaysia devised a proactive approach in creating nanotechnology commercialization projects, partnering both industry and research entities to build an industrial ecosystem by design and not by chance. This gave birth to the concept of venture builder project investment model, which is unique in the innovation value chain in Malaysia. However, our incorporation in late 2011 caused us to miss the RMK10 boat, which started its journey in 2011 and ended in 2015. Despite that, Nano Malaysia successfully pitched and mainstreamed nanotechnology under the new key economy area, electrical electronics, in the form of EPP20 in 2012 for long-term strategic positioning and relevance. In recognition of Nano Malaysia's inherent competency and best efforts, Lembaga Tabakau and Kenaf Negara, LTKN, invited myself to be part of the Kenaf Commercialization Committee in 2013. Nano Malaysia also assisted the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, MITI, with participation from other agencies to draw up the electrical and electronic sector delivery framework for the 11th Malaysia Plan in 2014. The Ministry of Higher Education's Malaysian Laboratory for Academia Business Collaboration, MyLab, in short, sees Nano Malaysia's involvement at both Board of Governors and Executive Council as formal guidance and assistance in the Ministry's foray in nanotechnology commercialization. In 2014, determined to maintain Nano Malaysia's productivity momentum, a collaborative effort with Agency Innovasi Malaysia, Performance and Efficiency Management Delivery Unit of MANDU, Economic Planning Unit, EPU, and MAIDA yielded the National Graphene Action Plan 2020 with a game-changing delivery framework to pull in industry participation and push graphene innovations to the market based on the program or concept developed internally much earlier. In 2013, Nano Malaysia also activated an alliance with Luck Research to get internal technological market foresight skills well honed and up to speed to consistently stay at the leading edge of technology and innovation curve. Nano Verify is a wholly owned company under Nano Malaysia, established in 2015. Nano Malaysia's first and only nano certification program. Its product certification program provides a voluntary scheme for companies to include nanotechnology authentication in their final commercialization step before industry recognition and improve consumer confidence and acceptance. In 2018, Nano Verify Product Certification Program received recognition from Taiwan Nanotechnology Industry Development Association that facilitates nanotechnology product penetration into the Taiwanese market. As Nano Malaysia advances, there are opportunities for NVSB or Nano Verify to explore cooperation amongst ASEAN countries. The exciting period 2016 to 2020 under the 11 Malaysia Plan saw Nano Malaysia's effort and competencies rewarded with a funding allocation to implement the venture builder commercialization model, uniquely designed based on a triple helix concept congregating agencies, industries, and academia. To date, including National Graphic National Plan 2020, there are 69 pre commercialization and commercialization projects with Malaysian startups, small and medium enterprises, and large local companies in strategic sectors, namely electronic devices and systems, energy environment, food agriculture, and healthcare, wellness, and medicine. We also decided to foray early in developing electric mobility technologies such as batteries, hydrogen reactor. Our high productivity in developing new intellectual properties is recognized by my IPO as Nano Malaysia made it into the Malaysia's top 30 patents filers for the year 2020. In 2016 to 2017, Nano Malaysia also ran the Advanced Materials Industrialization Program funded by Ministry of International Trade and Industry, complementing projects under the primary program, namely hydrogen drones, Internet of Things based electric scooter, and asset management system. Thank you, Miti. The accomplishments of Nano Malaysia's 11 Malaysia Plan program became a successful pitch for the continuation of the national nanotechnology commercialization agenda, working closely with MOSTI. The new 4IR based revolution program under the 12th Malaysia Plan focuses on the Internet of Nano Things, 
and two high-impact scale-up projects, namely Hydrogen Eco Nanomai, building on our hydrogen reactor technology, and Nanotech Remote Energy Systems, underpinned by the wireless charger system previously developed. So thank you to EPU, thank you to MOSTI. Supporting MOSTI's high-tech nation aspiration, Nano Malaysia is also leading the National Energy Storage Technology Initiative and Hydrogen Technology and Economy Roadmap. Thank you, MOSTI, for giving us the opportunity. And also, we are given the leadership role at Asia Nano Forum, and I was also appointed as international advisor for the China Graphene Industrial Alliance. As part of our globalization of Nano Malaysia and Malaysian nanotechnology products, we form international partnerships with IBM USA, BA Systems UK, Rust Under Russia, Nanopolis China, China Graphene Industrial Alliance China, Tanida Taiwan, Phantom Foundation Spain, Nanonext NL Netherlands, Nano Canada Canada, Nanotechnology Business Creation Initiative Japan, Nanotech Centers Indonesia, National Nanotechnology Coordination Office USA, 10,000 startups from India, and Sunom Sabanchi University Nanotechnology Research and Application Center Turkey. Thank you for your trust in Nano Malaysia. Fundamentally, Nano Malaysia is only as good as its team and partners. I'm taking this opportunity to record my appreciation to Team Nano Malaysia, past and present, for their tremendous contribution, unparalleled commitment, and unique teamwork. And to our external partners, fellow agencies, other ministries, industry, universities, a big thank you to you all. The Chairman, Dr. Zawi's well of wisdom and guidance have been integral to our collective growth and success, a father figure to us all at Nano Malaysia. And the Board of Directors, past and present, your precious inputs further strengthens the company's resolve and trajectory. Thank you. Our deep appreciation to the Honorable Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, YB Khairi Jamaluddin, and Deputy Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Haji Amzad, and the past ministers and Deputy Ministers too for their advice, trust, and overarching SDI True North for nanotechnology alignment. Thank you to the Secretary General of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Engineer Technologist Dr. Siti Has Misa bin Tapsir, and the past Secretary Generals too, for the dynamic and aggressive facilitation in getting nanomachines involved in, on the right platform, assisting our nation's fourth industrial revolution aspiration. As the founding CEO, I am humbly grateful and honored to have been given the opportunity and receive assistance to steer Nano Malaysia to where it is now and beyond. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I call the speech of the year. Thank you, Dr. Rizal Khairi Ahmad, the Chief Executive Officer of Nano Malaysia Berhad, for the inspiring speech. And of course, I am sure that everyone is pleased to know of how Nano Malaysia has thrived throughout the years and became a successful organization that it is today. Ladies and gentlemen, before we end our event today, but wait, 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 don't go anywhere yet because there is one more important thing to do, which is the social media winner announcement. And for your information, the contest began on 21st July 2021 and recently ended on 28th of July 2021. Winners, get this straight, listen carefully. Winners will be receiving the Volvo featuring nano textile antibacterial face mask together with the main prize as well, the Fitbit Versa 2 watch. We have picked the winners from Facebook as well as Instagram. Of course, terms and conditions apply. Without further ado, I know you guys are excited because I am absolutely excited right now. I'm about to announce the winners so make sure to get yourself in front of the screens. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, here are the top winners! And congratulations to all the winners. If you're watching this, I want you to jump with joy. Be happy because you are the winner for the contest. Enjoy your prizes. And that wraps up Nano Malaysia's 10th year anniversary celebration. Thank you for being a part of this event and watching it from the start to finish. Also a big shout out to our social media partners, Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation Mosti, Nano Verify, Sinian Bahad, Nano Verify, the IBR Asia Group, and of course, National Nanotechnology Center, NNC. Once again, 
Congratulations, Nano Malaysia Bahad. Happy 10th anniversary. Looking forward to more of Nano Malaysia. And of course, more tremendous up coming local projects to come so make sure to keep yourselves updated on our social media platforms with that i'm shafiq chulan your host would like to bid farewell so i'd like to wish you stay safe don't forget to practice social distance and hashtag kita jaga kita lastly we are nano malaysia thank you bye bye